In this showcase, we'll be looking at my custom Ultraverse hard case. This is another Ultraverse custom I did. Uh, I did this one, finished up a little while back, but never got around doing a showcase on this custom. And this is the character Hard Case. He was basically going to be like their flagship character for all, uh, Ultraverse, and I think uh, a few other characters end up outshining them, like like uh, Prime and Drew and a few others, but he is still a really cool character. He was the leader of the Ultra Force. Uh, if you've ever seen the cartoon, uh, there's a comic book based on uh, called that as well. This was a fun project to do, a little mix match parts. Took a little bit of engineering because I started this before they had the retro card of Hercules. So the upper body is the modern Hercules, but the lower body is, um, I think, the young Thor Hyperion mix. The young Thor is basically the waist piece because it's a little bit wider than the, the Hyperion. It matched up with the Hercules uh, torso better, but I did have to make an uh, adapter piece to blend those two pieces together. You use styrene and epoxy and I was able to extend the waist out and connect the two together where I retain all the articulation and be able to put the thicker legs on it because that modern Hercules has some of the worst legs for a great sculpt upper body, horrible lower body. It looks like he skipped leg day forever. <laughs> but this is a nice blend of the two. Get some more muscular build and you got the big big uh, upper body the head that i use is actually a neca flash gordon head that i re-sculpted at the back of the head using the ponytail from a aoa saber tooth re-sculpted at the back of the hair to look like it's, the hair has been pulled back into a ponytail the uh, chest armor is actually uh, fabricated out of styrene to start the process i took some index cards and made a template before I start to actually cut the styrene. I use a heat gun to bend and shape the chest armor to fit the contours of the body. And I add a little bit of epoxy on the back, sort of key into the into the back of the figure. Also embed magnets into the back of the back of the figure and into where the epoxy's at, there's ma magnets in there. So when it goes on, it snaps on and it stays on. You can see you can display it with or without the armor. We put the armor back on and the head. The chain belt is actually um, modified and fabricated from the death metal Superman figure. And the wrist chains are actually parts of that uh, belt from death metal Superman as well. I cut up the death metal belt to resemble more hard cases belt, trimmed it down. And I end up putting, to smooth up the loop in the center, I actually use an O-ring and blend it into that. I know, me using O-rings. <laughs> that never happens. And for the boots, I use styrene for that as well to do the stripes, the metal bands around the top of the boots and down the center, which all turned out really nice. For the paint on this, I on a base body, I based it in black. After I brushed a dark blue over top of that, to get the nice shading effect to the figure. The gold is Testers Extreme Lacquers Inca Gold, which I use a, a lot. I love that color, especially after it clears. It gets a really rich, vibrant color to it. Uh, for the flesh tones, I base it in like warm Testers flesh, and I dry brush the custom lighter flesh tone over top of that, and repaint the hair. The only thing I didn't repaint on the face was the eyes. I left those alone. NECA did a really good job on those. I have two alternate hands. I too got two grip hands and my fist hands, so but I'll probably more than likely just display it with the fist hands. For size, he turned out to be a big character. Of course, he was always being a lot bigger than other characters in the Ultraverse. Here is a Star Lord on the Vulcan body, Extremist Iron Man. I think this size really works well for a hard case. He was bigger than the other characters, but he wasn't whole big, so I think this is a good balance for the character. Overall, I think he's a great addition to my Ultraverse collection because you got to have the leader of the Ultra Force if you're going to have an Ultra Force collection. But anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all next time.